Please stand. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. This morning's Mass is being celebrated for the happy repose of the soul of Elaine Emiliani. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood for every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and have made us a kingdom of priests for our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of our freedom and of our salvation, <laughs> listen to the voice of our pleading, and grant that those you have redeemed by the shedding of your Son's blood may have life through you and under your protection, Rejoice forever unharmed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, my brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him, they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for, death, for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death, and when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers, he has brought to fulfillment for us their children, by raising up Jesus, as it is written in the second psalm, You are my son, this day I have begotten. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for, a for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. And now, O kings, give heed, take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him with trembling rejoice. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. According to John, Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. There were not what I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. And Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? 
Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Teddy Roosevelt once said, it's one of his famous quotes, he said, uh, keep your eyes on the stars and keep your feet on the ground. Now, it's an inspiring quote that, uh, that causes us to, to wonder and to dream, but also tells us that we need to be attentive to where we are going and how to go about and achieve our dreams. And it's no surprise that that quote is often used at graduation ceremonies. It's also used for motivational speeches, self-help books. And, you know, Roosevelt's um, quote about dreaming and also about being realistic is very similar to something that St. John Bosco said probably about 50 years earlier. It was about that much, came that, that much before he did. It was similar because he says, walk with your feet on earth but in your heart be in heaven. And although they gave those quotes from different contexts, they really point out the greater mystery of our existence. And that's exemplified beautifully in the Gospel passage that we have today from John. In the Gospel passage from John, he tells us that Jesus is preparing rooms for all of us. So, you know, basically what this imagery is an important reference to uh, what is really called the telos, or the goal of our existence. And the goal of our existence is God. The goal of everything is God, an eternal life with God. And knowing that Jesus is then preparing places for us, that's not meant to be just a nice sentiment that John throws in in the Gospel today. And it's also not meant to be an excuse for us to be spiritually lazy, you know, not doing what we are called to do in this life. But walking with our feet on the ground, or keeping our feet on earth, we should fulfill the vocation here and now which we are called to do, in whatever way we are called to do it, in order to build up the kingdom of God here on earth. But our lives while we are doing this always must radiate that joy in the hope of the resurrection and eternal life with our end goal, which is with our loving God. Let us now bring our prayers before the Father, whose house has many dwelling places prepared for us. For the Church, may the Holy Spirit amplify the prophetic voice in the world, calling for God's peace and justice to flourish. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the Prince of Peace guide them in promoting peaceful relationships among all nations and peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For farmers and for all who help with growing and producing food, may the spirit of life bring forth a rich bounty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here in this holy place, may the Lord continue to guide us in faithful witnesses to the gospel. To the late, to, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who have died. Remember especially the intention of today's Mass, Elaine Emiliani. May they enjoy forever the company of the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own personal intentions, which we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we ask you to look with favor upon these prayers that we have offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Mercy God forever. Minister, this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept our sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all this holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us, and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim that dies no more, the Lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son of the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy the Lord these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like we do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks for it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, provide the cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Alfred our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and 
power and the glory and the worship, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all, those. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace be with takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Those who are unable to be with us today are unable to receive the Eucharist at this time. I'll now pray a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament, and I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Christ our Lord has handed, was handed over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks.
we die. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seizing the ruins of souls. Amen. Have a good day, everyone.